ones here in Antigua and Barbuda who are moving along with developing um, apps and, and the art of entertainment and Technology. all things local. Mm -hmm. There we found someone in Montserrat who's doing the very same thing and she joins us via Skype this morning. Her name is Linda Diaz. Linda, good morning to you. Hi, good morning. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm great today. Thanks. All right. All right. So, Linda, uh, my name is Patrice and I'm here with Steve. Um, we want to talk to you a little bit about the development of this app called Bodio. Can you talk to us about the concept of Bodio there in Montserrat? Sure. Well, Bodio is actually a mobile app for musicians, but anyone in the entertainment industry. Um, we actually target, as I mentioned, musicians, venue operators, event promoters. And it's essentially to network. We're creating a platform for them to network and increase the exposure while they can market to actual music lovers. Need for so, this um, there in Montserrat? Wait, say that again? Please. You saw the need for this uh, in Montserrat? Well, actually, we're targeting the wider Caribbean region, so it's not just Montserrat. Uh, we're actually looking at Antigua um, because we have links there. We actually have representatives in Antigua as well as Barbados. So we're targeting much at Antigua and Barbados in the first instance, but we're looking at the wider Caribbean region. Uh, we saw the need for it essentially because we noticed that there's a lot of live, live performers in the region, but they tend to get jobs um, through a, a who's who of networking more or less. So it's more or less who you know, uh, and they kind of get hired that way. But there's a lot of untapped talent that gets unrecognized, and we wanted to really create this, this online database of this talent that anyone can tap into and it can just really get recognized and, and, and noticed. All right, Linda, good morning. Um, so when this app launched and how effective has it been since? Just launched it about last week. And it's, we're in the beta testing phase right now. So it's not fully launched. So in other words, you won't be able to find it on the app, in the App Store or Google Play at the moment. We're, asking for, we're looking for beta testers at the moment. So we can get feedback. We can try and improve it and see exactly what those in the entertainment industry really need. So we can actually cater to their needs itself. So right now, the, the app is available for direct download from our website, bodioapp.com. Um, but as I mentioned, we're looking for instrumentalists, anyone in the entertainment field, instrumentalists, vocalists, um, DJs, uh, writers. You might have a lyricist that, that you know, writes amazing lyrics, but they're looking for maybe someone to sing the lyrics because maybe they're not so much of a great singer. Uh, producers, uh, anyone like that, really. You made you made mention because we're all excited about this now. Now you made mention of a we. Can you talk about the team that would have come together to make Bodio a success? Sure. As I mentioned, well, just to, to give you a, a little brief background, I had this idea um, to create this, this booking platform, as I mentioned, but I'm not a musician. I'm not an app developer. I'm actually an architect by profession. But my dad is actually a musician. He's built bark. He's built strings that sing in Antigua. He performs. And my other half is actually in Barbados, and he's in a band 1359. And, and I realized that they're, they're unsigned musicians with a lot of talent. And although they're getting a lot of work, there's still, you know, there's still gaps that can be filled. So, like I said, I had this idea. And the team itself, after they developed it, um, started, like I mentioned, to have representatives 
in Antigua, um, Barbados, same yeah. people that I just mentioned just now, my dad and my other half, um, and also some in, in St. Kitts as well. So, you know, we, we've come together. Um, locally, we have we have a media strategist, strategist Miss Narissa Golden, she's won a lot of pitch competitions. She has Discover Monster. She's on the team as well as a mentor. Uh, we also have Richard Pummel, uh, who I met through a pitch competition that, that the Bodhi app actually had won in Monster. Um, so we all have, it's, it's all a grand, <laughs> a, a, a melting pot of people, I should say, involved in the app. Now, now, how easy it is to upload your work, upload your bio, everything as entertainers and DJs within the world towards uh, the Bodio app? Okay, well, as soon as you download the app, you actually register. And uh, when you register on it, you can register as a musician, um, event promoter, venue, etc. Uh, or you can register on what particular instrument you can, you can play. Um, when you register there, your information is actually automatically uploaded into the app as one big database. So for example, you're automatically put in, if you're a bass player, you're automatically put into the category that is, that is for dedicated to bass players. So for example, if a band um, is looking, say their bass player went sick, they can actually go on the app, check it out, and your profile will automatically be there. Uh, and you can be selected based on whatever information you have up, whether you have your portfolio of work up or you have links to your work um, in, in other mediums. You can be selected, you can get gigs, you can collaborate with other musicians. Um, yeah. Nice. At the nice. touch of a button. Now, you mentioned just uh, freshly launching, uh, doing a soft launch there last week. Can we see uh, this new launch, or the official launch, coming forward? And can you tell us how soon we'll be able to see that? Well, we wanted to do some beta testing for, for about four to six months. Um, so we actually have targeted a few people. We have Bruce Skerritt, who's a very popular and a legend in, from St. Kitts, who's actually um, agreed to test the app. We have a few other people, Paddy Pendergast, Paddy Pendergast in, in St. Kitts as well from Itchy Feet. Um, we have some great people, some producers and so forth in, in Montserrat, in St. Kitts, who are checking it out. So after that, after we get some feedback, like I said, in about four to six months, we'll come now with, the, with a, a, a grander launch with improved features from the feedback. Wonderful, Linda. Well, thank you for joining us this morning. Sorry to pull you from your architecture this morning, but we needed to get some more information. Um, and we definitely are going to keep in touch uh, so that we can continue to see and follow along the development of the Bodio app. Thank you. Yes, thank you as well. And just to remind, you can actually download from bodioapp.com. All right. We love everyone. Much, Linda. All right. Thanks, Linda. Have a great one. All right. Thanks a lot, too. Thanks for having me. Audio app, wow. Audio app. I guess when this is That's when huge. To stream, you sit here, it's no more contacting folks. Hey, can, can you give me the number for I have to email you, can I get it? WhatsApp you. Oh, man. Can, how do I, do I have to, do oh, I have to can I get your Instagram yeah, handle? No, I can no. get it from Audio one, app. One. Wonderful, I love that. Engaging everything right there. Wow, me. entertaining. It's, it's wow, so all right. When this doesn't get out on um, mm. the social media platforms, like get out on um, the Android platform and and of course on the i the uh, other stuff there yeah, yeah. the i the i stuff. <laughs> that oh well, we're gonna take a commercial break. Uh, we do have the aid secretary our team here with us. Um, some interesting things, a little twist there on Valentine's 2019. We're gonna be hearing more about that right after this commercial break. Stay with us.